Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As you probably know, uh, our handlers decided to uh, send to Ukraine uh, about, I don't know, 600 and some million dollars worth of uh, military equipment, weapons to kill and defend themselves. And I will have here an article that will tell us exactly what I sent to Ukraine because I was asked if I would like to. But these guys know better than I, so they just do it for me. This article comes from the Defense News by Joe Gould. All right, from October 4, 2022. Pentagon sending Excalibur guided artillery, more high Mars to Ukraine. Now, if you think that Excalibur is not the right pronunciation, okay, I'm not gonna break my tongue for that. In my language, which is uh, uh, human language, is Excalibur. All right, let's move on. The Pentagon said Tuesday it's arming Ukraine with Excalibur, satellite-guided artillery rounds, and four more high Mars, high mobility artillery rocket systems to help repel Russia's invasion force. The $622 million that, you're welcome, in weapons and equipment provided from U.S. military stockpiles under Presidential uh, Drawdown Authority comes amid battlefield wins for Ukrainian forces. The U.S. Department of Defense also is contracting with industry for the supplies. Great! And then you're gonna get more money. Lucky Martin and Rioton, all these guys, but we got contracted. Hey, we got some more work for you. Thank you for the profit. Emil, you're gonna pay more in taxes. Why? Because we have to build now, replenish our stockpile of weapons. <laughs> and who made the decision? The White House, right? So that's how it goes. And who gives them money? And not only they gives them money, these companies, but who has the guns? Okay, and I'm quoting that capabilities in this package are tailored to meet Ukraine's immediate needs, end quote. Laura Cooper, Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Russia, Ukraine and Eurasia, said at a Pentagon press conference, and I'm quoting, this package will provide the Ukrainian armed forces with additional capabilities and munitions that it needs in the South, including additional artillery and precision fires. Well, in the satellite axis. Uh, all right, so we have here, retaking Liman is a significant operational accomplishment, she said, adding that Ukraine forces are making progress in the Kharkiv and southern Kherson regions. And I'm quoting again, the Ukrainian counteroffensive and Kherson has made significant advances, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what do you give them in my name? The, loud, the latest announcement includes Lockheed Martin made HIMARS and associated ammunition with Ukraine, which Ukraine has used to successfully target Russian supplies and command nodes, along with 200 MAXPRO mine resistant ambush protected MRAP vehicles, Claymore anti personal mines, and 155 millimeters and 105 millimeters howitzers. I'm not done, I'm just starting. With the new aid, when I think of aid, I think of medical aid all the time. That's how it is, not this kind of aid. With the new aid, the US has committed more than 15.5 billion, billion dollars in aid to Ukraine since the Biden administration began. I want money, I want aid. Don't you? Uh, uh, and you could say, well, if you're invite, in, in, in invaded by someone, I can have some neighbors invade me tomorrow. And the next day I invade them. And so we get both of us uh, uh, aid. The latest drawdown includes now, includes 75,000 more 155 millimeter rounds, 1,000 more remote anti-armor mine projectiles, that dispense anti-tank mines and 500 more satellite-guided M982 Excalibur rounds, Cooper said. The, but who guides those 500 uh, rounds again? <laughs> we, 
we because we are together in this we do pentagon officials have avoided public acknowledging it's been sending excalibur rounds because they started as i said my little model uh, uh, no, there's not a you know it's a uh, mountain slope model they started with little 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 and now they get to tanks airplanes nuclear weapons is the last is the top of the mountain it's not going to be nuclear weapons i hope but it's going to be airplanes tanks and long-range missiles that's the last phase so yes and i'm calling yes when i refer to 500 precision guided 155 millimeter artillery rounds that was a reference to the Excalibur round, Cooper said. Okay, I didn't get it the first time. Thank you. Pentagon officials had avoided publicly acknowledging it's been sending Excalibur rounds co-developed by Rioton Missiles and Defense and Bay BAE Systems Beaufort of Sweden. Bloomberg first reported that the Pentagon planned to replenish Excaliburs sent to Ukraine. So we're going to replenish by getting these guys, put them to work. Oh my God. Which included a public budget document. Now, the US is also sending MRAPs as the ability to maneuver as the ability to maneuver will be important to Ukraine's ability to retake ground, and particularly during the coming winter months. MRAP light tactical vehicles were developed by the US military to protect its troop, troops from roadside bombs in Iraq and Afghanistan. And I'm quoting, the weather plays a big factor in any war. And here, what we would anticipate it is as the, as the, as the as, all right, as the as the weather changes, maneuver will be much more challenging, Cooper said. Okay, Cooper, Gary Cooper, all right. You're welcome, $624 million in aid, you know. What's next? F-16s and tanks. That's fine, they, they were talking about that, and the Germans... Uh, lag behind and they will send their uh, leopards not lepers but leopards like wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ we'll, we'll see we'll see some people uh, make a lot of profit and those are three at least one is the banks who uh, subsidize our government with the money they are incapable of making through their bad decisions economic bad decisions so they run the banks and the banks give them money and they give it to us so we can spend on something we don't have but other people produce the second one is the military industrial complex building more weapons with its little uh, attaches or uh, auxiliary companies that are making a kill right these are the second one. and the third one is the energy sector lng for instance oil gas coal these guys and i can tell you who the big losers are uh, pretend this is a mirror oh you yeah okay you can do the same thing uh, in your bathroom look in the mirror and say are you the one who are the uh, the one who uh, you know is really by these guys yes yes even if you're a millionaire if you're not in one of those uh brackets over there are three spheres military banking and energy you lose money inflation is high yeah? and now it's good to invest and then after if things go back to <clears throat> it's not gonna be a normal the new normal then you're gonna make a profit but until then these guys are still drawing from us they even suck dry the uh, u.s strategic oil reserves these are I'm not certain if they're incom in, uh, incompetent or they're criminals. I don't know which one or both. Because we are going to have big, big problems. Not us, everybody. You see, the Russians, uh, their economy expands somehow. And they're the ones that we impose sanctions on in Europe. And they imposed more sanctions, the eighth round in Europe of sanctions on Russia. I just had an article, they got 52.0 on a PMI or whatever that is, you know. They're expanding, over 50 expanding, be below 50 
your uh, shrinking your economy us is like 50.07 or something like that those guys the russians are 52 which is a big deal i don't know man i don't want to think like this is a you know conspiracy theory or something because we, we all conspire, you know, when I make a video, I conspire to make a video. I plan it, I read, I do, I whatever. But the same here, we, they, this, I don't want to say these guys are just, they definitely are, but they're not aligned with our interests, their interests. Let's put it like that. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.